There's a lot of excitement around the release of the House of Flame and Shadow book by Sarah J. Moss, and we know that Auntie Sarah was recently inspired by that to let her creativity flow and create some sword designs that reflected the three different series in the Mossiverse that are available currently. After we digitized these designs, Auntie Sarah used them to create a fun patch with her embroidery machine. Since we have these files available to you, our crafty community, I thought it might be interesting to show how else you could use these to channel your creativity and pursue your own inspiration. Today I'm going to focus on the Crescent City Sword and show you what you can make using that file, specifically with a Cricut. I'm Auntie Christine from Coffee Craft and I work with Auntie Sarah to pursue inspiration and to be able to share that with you in many different ways. For this video, I'm not going to go in depth on how to use the Cricut Design Space or the machine itself, but if you're interested in learning more about that, please let us know in the comments. The first idea I had was to let the Cricut draw the design for me and then I could use that to watercolor paint. Now I'm going to take a much needed coffee break while the Cricut does its magic. And now it's all done. And I'm very happy with how this turned out. I think using the pen option with the Cricut is a great option if you feel like your drawing skills are not quite what you want them to be, which is definitely how I feel, but you still want to be able to use certain designs for other projects. Another option, if you don't have a Cricut, would be to use a window to transfer your designs, much like you would for an embroidery project or so on and so forth, and that can be a great low budget option for getting the same effect. Now I just had fun with my watercolor pens. Didn't have a particular idea going into it with exactly what I wanted, so I had fun with some crafty play and letting the inspiration flow as I was working. This also means that sometimes I changed my mind and decided to go back over and change a color, but it was a lot of fun and very relaxing to just take a few minutes to do this. Now, for another option, I wanted to show how to cut this design using my Cricut onto some vinyl. And I had a little spare piece of smart vinyl, which means you can put it directly in the machine without a mat. And I wanted to use that for this design, but what I quickly learned was that it was far too small. The machine, first of all, did not like that it was such a short piece. And so it complained at me about that and automatically changed size. When I went to look at the finished product, I could tell that it had caught in a couple places and that it was too fine of a design to do on that small of a piece. So I decided to go big. This time I decided to use the Cricut Design Space app on my phone and had a great time. It was much easier <laughs> this time around because I was using a mat and I knew it was going to be the the right size and then I could just take a few minutes to weed all of those pieces out. It's a little hard to see but I still on this piece I still have the general outline so depending on what I decide I want to do with this vinyl I will probably just use the outline rather than the whole big red space. For this type of vinyl I thought that it could be cool to add it to a binder or some sort of cover or a piece of artwork, but there are also other types of vinyl that you can use that are more of an iron-on, so if you wanna add it to any fabric, which could look really cool. I do recommend if you're trying to use this design to make it a little bit bigger, that way it fits well on your vinyl and that your machine is able to do those fine cuts well. So there you have it. That's what I was inspired to do, but I would love to hear what ideas you might have for how you could use these designs. And be sure to head over to our website, coffeecrafters.org, to be able to access these designs 
or maybe in the following month our email subscribers might just be able to get these designs for free and if you like this video it helps us a lot if you're willing to share a like and it supports our dream to share chill inspiring content in this crafty corner of the internet all right good luck with your crafting and we'll see you again soon bye, -bye.